Hi everyone, I'm Annie TP and welcome back to my Kirby's Dreamland 2 walkthrough. In this part, I'm going to be going through the last stage of Dark Castle before the boss. And by the end of this video, I will have all the rainbow drops, so just stick with me. Because I don't see my at first, but that's okay. Uh, it's a little breakable blocks there, so if you take too long, well, if you have the reflexes of a statue, you're gonna get some damage there, but really it's not a big deal at all. Just avoid the spikes and gordos and shotzos and yeah. Coming here next, um, well, I got three there. Uh, it's just a dark room with Glunks and Starlocks. Really not a big deal at all. And there's no secrets in that room either. Which brings us to the Rainbow Drop Room. Now, firstly, I'm not going to be getting it right now because there are two endings to the game. And the first ending requires that I do not have all the Rainbow Drops. So for now, I'm just going to pass along through because in addition to two endings, there are also, oh uh, wow, some multiple rooms that you have to go through if you don't have the correct pathway down. So it involves going through these rooms with lots of enemies. The first one's got Waddle Dees, the second one's got lots of Mumbies. For both, well for the Waddle Dee room you don't really have to rush on through. For the Mumbies just float on up. Gordos are easy to avoid so I'm just going to get rid of these guys. Uh, exploding Axe. Okay, so we've got Exploding Axes and Exploding Parasols. That's annoying. I'm just going to leave them there. Uh, this is the last... No, it's the second last room, I believe. It's got Falling Icicles or Spikes, or whatever you want to call them. I'll just stick with Icicles. But really, that's a really... In all honesty, that's a really easy room to get through. Uh, last one is Room Hatterland. It's like an apartment building. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and we're already at the end. So it's another short level, I mean, stage. Even though it's the last stage, it's short. We're gonna end off with some jumper shoot. I swallowed that. That's dumb. Okay, so jumper shoot. Tsukumogani, Tsukumogani shenanigans. But yeah, just be careful when you're coming in the room that he does not tackle you and like squish you. Like, I don't know, just something that gets squished. <laughs> so, as I said before, we're not quite done. I uh, got some rainbow drop business to deal with, so I'm just going to rush along. Just be really real quick. Uh, And we're here. Okay, so this one, to get the rainbow drop, there's seven steps involved. The first one is get to the room here. The first ability you want is burning, and then you come up here and destroy the elemental blocks here. Go in the door. Second ability, just gonna get rid of it before it causes any trouble. You're going to want stone. And just jump up. And destroy the elemental blocks to the right. You've got to get the right abilities. And honestly, animal friends aren't really needed or recommended. You can go without them for this stage. It's a short one anyway, so it's not a big deal. Okay. The... Third one, I mean step four, you're gonna want needle for this. 
So wander up to the elemental block place and get rid of those elemental blocks on the right. Wandering into the next room now, it's ice, and you are cheeky, so I'm just gonna get rid of you. Uh, low kibble. Okay, so Master Pinky gives the ice ability, and the ice ability is what you want for this room. And now the last one, we have some more business with load kibble. Pick up cutter and whoops. Destroy the elemental blocks, which will take you to the rainbow drop room. Okay. Um so that's how it's done. I'm not gonna pick it up on camera because I've just I have to show the first ending. Meep, so I'll see you.